This time I have a Sony KDL 32R300. This is a 32 inch LED backlit set, only a few years old, well, maybe about nine years now. Uh, it was given to me, I was told that the Sony logo flashes and then it goes completely dead. The guy that gave it to me thinks the power supply is gone because everybody thinks that, right? I don't think it's the power supply. I think we have a backlight problem on this one and I was right, but it was more than I was expecting. Let's see what the cat dragged in. It's the TV, obviously. What do we have? It's all wrapped up, too. It's a Sony. KDL 32R300B. So let's see what's wrong with this piece of junk. This one's going to be a backlight failure on this one. Let's see if I can get it to display for a second here. Uh, let's see if we can get the Sony logo to come up in the middle of the screen here with the flashlight test. There. Yeah. Okay. You can see it. Maybe you can see it there. Backlight's out on this one. Okay. Well, we know where this one, we know what the problem on this one is. This one's got a dead backlight. So, um, it's mine. So, it's a nice 32 inch set. I'd love to get this one running because it'd be perfect for a camera monitor. That's what I use these small ones for is when they break. I just put another one in place of it and I got the stand and everything for it. So let's uh, pop this one apart and see if we can get the back lights working without putting any parts in it. So it's a small set of screws just on the back, the whole back to come off. I haven't done one of these ones before, but I'm sure it's not going to be much different than any of the other small sets. And it's going to be one LED for sure that's just gone out, pretty much guaranteed one LED is out. Might not be though because it did come on momentarily but and then it went out. So it could be a power supply problem on this one I guess. But the backlights definitely are not lighting. This is a set from 2014 so it's not an old set. Not that old anyway, nine years. Of course it's made in China or else. So it's a two board solution basically. You got your main board. This is TPV. I wonder who made that. Obviously it's not made by Sony, this one. They just put their name on it. We have a power supply board here and a signal board over there. And uh, and of course our backlight's in behind the screen here. Could be one LED that's gone bad. Or it could be multiple LEDs that have gone bad and driving the thing into a <laughs> shutdown mode. But they did light up initially when I fired it up. figure out how to get to the tab from this set. A little different than some of the other ones I've worked on. Looks like these brackets need to come out. Take off the speakers. Pick off a couple of brackets here and see whether I can access the, the tab. I gotta, of course, we gotta, we gotta undo the tabs on the panel right first before we can do anything else. Because I want to pull the glass off it and check the LEDs. Here. 
Okay, that comes off. I plug the sensor. Okay, that piece comes out. Looks like the two brackets that hold the uh, the base have to come off as well. Alright, so the that, that little circuit board that held, has, has the tabs on it is right here. Looks like there may only be one big tab that goes across here at the front. And that is glued down. Hmm. At least this is. This is glued down behind here. That connector is right there. Just one board on this one. And only one set of tabs, but it looks like this might be glued down. If I unplug the LDVS connector here, it looks like this is glued down it's on here to the, to the set. So this is going to be removed because this is going to obviously have to be folded down so that we can remove these screws and lift the panel off. This is really fragile, this here. This is the dangerous part, is trying to separate this without damaging the uh, connection here. If you damage that, then the panel is, is toast. That's the end of it, so got to be real careful with this. Talk about getting cheap. Remove the four screws, and now the bezel here will lift off. I think the bezel will lift off and unclip from the side. This is held in place by two, two foam strips, double-sided tape strips. That's what holds this in place. I have to peel this all off, all the way around. There's more screws that hold the bezel in place along the side here. If I peel those off and remove this, I should be able to lift the um, the back off the set, I think, I think. I'm not 100% sure yet, but if I cut these so that this is loose and take out the screws, I should be able to lift the set and leave this behind, leave the screen behind. So they've got some double-sided tape down here that's holding the, the, the uh, controller board down. Okay, that gets the controller board out of the way. Now we'd have to lift the bezel or lift the panel away from the set. It's like this whole, will the whole screen stay behind? Yeah, if I lift this off, the screen will stay behind. Excellent. So that screen can stay here. I got all the screws out of this, I should be able to just lift the set away. Excellent. Backlight lifts right away. And the whole panel just stays there. Put the panel somewhere where it won't get damaged while I work on the backlight. So the bezel, or the, the uh, diffuser, is just held in place with some clips around the edges. So we just unclip them all. And the diffuser will come off the back.
just like that. Now we've got the light panel, we can test the individual light. So I'm going to test each individual bulb with a 3 volt power supply. If they all light up then it's not a backlight problem. So let's just see if there's any bad ones. That one's good. That one's dead. That one's good. That one's good. So we've got a dead one right here. That's the bad one. We'll check the rest to make sure the rest are okay. That one appears to be dead as well. We've got two dead ones on here. Looks like we got three dead ones. They might be shorted. Are these are these ones shorted or are they open? Not open. No current on the power supply. But the lamp did light up, so maybe it cranked the voltage up so high that they just started to work momentarily and then went out. Because because there's no power. If I short the probes together, I get my limit at that uh, point. Or three hundred, or three got uh, thirty milliamps. So, so I got three dead, three dead LEDs on this one. Well, we'll just short the three dead LEDs and see if we can make the panel work. Interesting. I've never seen three before. Actually, I shouldn't say that. I have seen some that have had some that are shorted as well as open. But we'll short these ones out and see how the picture looks on it. Yeah, I've already done this one. I'm going to do the other two LEDs on each of the strips that are that are open and then uh, we'll try to set out so it's hard to get the solder to flow onto it you get a lot of heat in it to get it to stick I know I'm going to hear from the peanut gallery about replacing them but I'm not putting any money into this set I don't care if they're only ten dollars. I'm not putting any money into it and waiting weeks to get the parts. Looks like they work to me. Now time to put the screen back together. First the rear reflector goes back in and it's just stuck in place with tape. I didn't remove the tape so it will stick it in place there again. And then we'll get the bezel on and then finally drop the screen on. This is the top. Just clips in. Like that. So I got the screen 
We'll slide the screen into position. screen to hold the screen in place. I'll carefully turn the set over. Do not damage the tab. Turn over like that. I've got the screws to go in, of course. So I'll put all the screws in now that hold the bezel in place. So these screws hold the front bezel on, it holds the screen in place. Get all these in place. Take the tab back down like, like that, just to hold it for now at least. So I get all the screws in place. I put the front interface for the air remote control, even though I don't think I have it. I have the remote for it. How do you get into the remote? Maybe it's sitting here somewhere. That goes in here somehow, like that. That's what protects the, uh, the controller board holds it in place. There's some screws that hold that one in place as well. cable plugs in to the timing controller board. Like that. LVDS, low voltage differential signaling. That's uh, the timing signals for the panel. And it's ready, basically, I've got this bottom piece to go on still, and then it's ready to, uh, the back to go on. This piece just goes in like, like that, I believe. Snap in like that. All right. I could power it up right now. I think I'll just throw the back on it, just so I can, so the speakers won't fall out. But we'll plug it in and uh, take a look at the picture. You should see something on the screen. Let's power it up. Yes, we do. That should come up and probably say no signal. Cable display mode. Okay, there we go. Okay. Oh, I got a bit of dirt. Oh well. My set. I can see a little. I can see a little spot. Um, yeah, you can see a dark spot there, depending on the camera angle, because there's so many. There's so many LEDs out. There's three of them out. There's one there, one there, and one down here. So it's never going to be perfect. This is going to serve its life here as a um, a security camera monitor for sure. Because I mean, it's. I couldn't sell this set just because it doesn't look perfect, and I'm not going to put any LEDs into it, but. I'll get the screws into the back and then we'll uh, plug it in and see how the picture looks. All right, so there it is. It is what it is. Yeah, I can see a little bit of dirt right there. Oh well. It's watchable. It's you know it's not something you're going to watch TV on, but uh, certainly if I was using this just to monitor my cameras, it's going to be just fine. Uh, you don't really notice even even on a picture like this, you really don't notice the two uh, or the three LEDs that are bad. 
but three of them went bad on this one this one here the the way that these ones are they're not all in series each string is in series but the three strings are driven separately from the set on this they got three sets of wires coming back to the power supply so um, that's why I went, a couple of them went out and nothing happened but when the third one went out on the third string it's funny that the set would actually try to power them up and they got a bit of light and then they went out but something obviously was detecting that the current was wrong and uh, it shut them down to be fair though from a normal viewing distance you can't see that speck of dirt if you get up close to it you can you can't see it and you really don't notice the brightness difference even though there's three LEDs that are out we know where they are there and down there we know where they are because you saw when I jumped with them but you know what when you're watching it if I didn't tell you that there was three LEDs that were out on this set you wouldn't know perfectly watchable picture now I'm gonna put this set into service I'm going to be using it as a monitor for my cameras it's going to rack up tons and tons and tons of hours so um, we'll see how long they last but I've got others that I jumped a single LED on and they've been going for years this one's got three that are that were popped on this one I thought that that was the spot right there for a second but it's actually a bug on the screen it's moving <laughs> there no oh, it's a bug look it's a bug it's a bug inside the screen it's moving I got I caught a bug inside between the panel it's moving oh my god <laughs> a bug got in there when I was putting it together I thought I was seeing things it's moving well maybe it'll crawl out of the screen okay well that's not so bad after all I thought I couldn't see it and then I saw it again but it's a bug a bug must have got on the screen when it was sitting apart while I was working on the diffuser and working on the LEDs a bug must have landed on the screen it's moved now it's gone off the screen so maybe it'll stop oh, there it is there he is he's moving he's moving across the screen ah! <laughs> now that's funny hopefully the bug will crawl away from the screen where you don't see it and die at the edge of the screen that would freak somebody out imagine they're getting a, a TV in the shop right yeah there's a, something moving on the screen and you find a bug got in between the screen anyway um, okay that's it for this one thanks for watching bye